It is a full mutiny within the world's most important AI company that is completely unresolved and has massive repercussions for public markets vis-a-vis -vis Microsoft, but also private markets. You know, there's just hundreds of millions of dollars in real time hanging in the balance on uh, open AI shares, and we can get into that. But uh, I've let's say I've spoken to 100 people in the last 72 hours, yeah. and this is an unprecedented story in the history of Silicon Valley in how it played out, what happened, and the just how much of it is frankly unresolved. And I guess we, we could get to that too. Okay, so let's, we're, we're gonna get to where the company is valued and what happened to the share sales and the money sort of being held up that's supposed to come from Thrive and other VCs at this point. But first, I wanna start right. with the basics, Ed. Why did, what do we know about why Sam Altman got the boot on Friday? Yeah, we, we honestly don't know why. OpenAI had a very small, has, still there, a very small four-person board. That board, issued a statement saying around Friday lunchtime, and by the way, I was at a restaurant having lunch with an open AI investor. Oh my gosh. And, broke, <laughs> and you, you know, yeah, that was a crazy moment in my career. You can only imagine. Anyway. Was the person they shocked? Said, was the person shocked? The per we both boxed our food and ran for it, physically okay. ran. Okay. And as you guys know, I was on TV within minutes. But um, listen, uh, the, the board said it had lost confidence in Sam Altman based on his, his sort of less than candid communications with the board without elaborating further. On Saturday morning, Brad Lightcap, who is the COO of OpenAI and remains COO of OpenAI, issued a memo to staff saying that this was a breakdown in communication between Sam Altman and that four-person board, but there was no element of malfeasance. That's the language used. What we know from sources is that there is some sort of philosophical disagreement here. Sam Altman is a product guy. He is about getting that generative AI technology into the real world, charging money for it, getting it into the hands of consumers and enterprises. The board, the four of them are largely academics who recognize an existential threat from AI posed to humanity. And, and that there's a point of difference there somewhere along the way, but we don't know more than that. There's so much more to be unveiled. Ahead, well, bro. it makes you wonder, okay, so, you know, it makes me kind of nervous that the board wasn't able to maybe talk to its CEO right before doing this. Um, help me oh. understand. Wait, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Right? Well, like the, chron the, the chronology of it is, is astonishing. Sources say Sam Altman found out he was being fired as CEO minutes before he was fired as CEO. Mira Marati, who was... That then the CTO right. was informed the night before of what was going to happen and that she would become acting CEO. And what's astonishing, you know, Ashley Vance, our, our dear colleague at Business Week, myself, people like Dina Bass, Emily Chang, you know, we were hearing pretty early on Saturday and Sunday, then into Sunday afternoon, that the board was digging in. They were like, no, we, we're not caving, we're going to hire a new CEO. But the messages from the Sam Altman side were like, right up until the last minute last night, Sam's coming back as CEO. And the net result is that Sam has left, joined Microsoft, and we have a new interim CEO, OpenAI. Um, I'm just trying to give some sense of like, yeah. Yeah. how all of this just played in real time. And, it's rapid. And, <laughs> yeah, it was rapid, but also everyone was wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone, <laughs> the investors that were trying to get Sam Altman back in the CEO role, were adamant that it was going to happen. Satya Nadella, who's the Microsoft CEO, was playing the peace broker, the middleman, doing everything that he could to put Sam Altman back. Uh, yeah. But I, my understanding is the board, they just didn't pick up the phone. I mean, I went to bed last night, Ed, thinking that Sam Altman would be back at OpenAI. After all, he tweeted yep. out that photo of him at headquarters yesterday wearing the badge, saying it's the first and last time I'm going to be wearing this. Everyone thought, you know, because it was a visitor's badge. Um, so <laughs> then I wake up this morning and find out that he's uh, at Microsoft. Um, let's Correct. go back to the, I mean, it's, it was, I kind of had to like check, read it twice. I was like, what is going on here? Um, go back to philosophical differences here. Because yep. that's a big part of this story, is the way that people think AI will play a role in our lives and humanity moving forward. Yes. Where does Sam Altman find himself, and where do others find themselves, and where's the rift? So he finds himself at odds with the board. I mean, that's kind of part of why we're here. 
And the way to answer that question is, is to reflect on what happened. So Emmett Shear was installed late last night as interim CEO of OpenAI. And what sources told me and we reported is that a reason he was installed as interim CEO was that he shared with the board a recognition that advanced artificial intelligence does pose an existential threat, an X threat to humankind, otherwise known um, in layman's terms, that's what it means. I'm not going to go huh. down the whole EA route. Uh, and he shared that in common with the board, while also the board recognized that he was the Twitch CEO as recently as earlier this year, right? They felt that he could run a very large engineering team. And again, I reiterate, we actually have no idea why the real reasons why the board fired Sam, other than there was concern at how quickly he was commercializing that AI.